a little bit of a different video today since I'm not feeling 100%. But also since I do not have anything currently lined up for Wednesdays right now. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about Final Fantasy XIV, uh, a game I'm currently playing in my free time. And uh, I specifically wanted to kind of ramble about some of the changes to jobs they revealed in the live letter a few days ago. Uh, to start, I do not have every job leveled. I have Dragoon, Black Mage, Samurai, and Machinist, all level 80. Machinist being my current main. Uh, this particular talk, I am probably going to focus mostly on the Machinist changes because they are what really excite me about going forward. Uh, oh, I mean, by the way, the footage in the background here is just me running some random content as Bard. Uh, to start, I didn't originally plan to play as Machinist when I picked up the game. I was I created the character to play Lancer from Dragoon. And along the way, I ended up getting kind of bored and wanted to try out some of the other jobs. And I wanted to, specifically wanted a ranged job. And so I ended up like playing Red Mage for a long time. Red Mage is, is a lot of fun. Uh, but it, it, during Heaven's Words content, I ended up trying mostly every job. Almost every job, not all. Uh, the Nationals was actually the last one I, I tried at the very end. And I, I, I didn't really know much about it. I knew it was a tech class, I knew it used guns, and, uh, but I didn't really have anything else. I didn't really know anything else about it other than that and, uh, until I started playing it and found out that it's basically the Final Fantasy XIV tribute to uh, Edgar Figaro from Final Fantasy VI, or three for that old. Uh, if I had known what the Masters was back when I started the game, I probably would have picked it up from the very start because it's, like, it's perfect. I love the way it plays. I love the, the gadgets and everything it has. It pretty much has every tool that Edgar had. I think there's a few that it doesn't have. The reason it's so perfect for me is like, well, it helps if I go if I talk a little bit about modern and futuristic weaponry and settings. Then there are three things that I look for in every game when it comes to that. Number one is the flamethrower. It's weird you would think that being able to conjure fire and explosions as a mage or a sorcerer uh, will appeal to me, but it doesn't. It really doesn't. Um, but a flamethrower does. Something about the flamethrower, something about setting something on fire, not just explosions, uh, letting explosions do it for me. Uh, like, in, like in WoW, I, I never played a mage. Uh, I, I, I mean, they, they have an entire tree dedicated to fire and, and throwing big fireballs and doing like big massive damage with fire. I never played them. I played a warlock instead. Why? One reason. Immolate. Immolate's a spell they had that literally just set something on fire and let it burn. I don't know why that makes a difference to me, but it does. I don't know, maybe I'm just that fucked up in the head that I have to let something die slowly. I don't know, but flamethrowers are a, a go-to piece of equipment for me, especially in anything that has that kind of like technology level. And when I found the Mastinist had a flamethrower on top of all the cool shit it already had, I was sold then. Uh, but then, a couple other points that I look for. Two, chainsaws. Something about the chainsaw, the weapon, always makes me. I think my love of the chainsaw probably comes from my love of horror movies, but I think uh, my original exposure to it was the first Doom back in the 90s. I was a Doom fanatic in the, uh, back then, and I played Doom 1 and 2 to death. Um, more than once did I actually play through the game with just the chainsaw. So, uh, chainsaws and flamethrowers, two things I always really hope for in games, especially in chainsaw, because they're... they're, they're there's a lot of settings that can use these things, and they don't actually use them. Rarely have I ever gotten a game that lets me have both of those weapons at the same time. Rarely. And number three is shotguns. This one, too, I think comes from Doom. Because when I wasn't using the chainsaw in Doom, I used the shotgun. And when Doom 2 came out and it introduced a super shotgun, and me being able to take that and wipe out an entire hallway in one shot, yeah, I still got that look on my face 30 years later. Uh, and this brings us back to the live letter and why it made me so excited for Inwalker. Uh, the upcoming expansion for Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, first, right now, the Mastinist has uh, a go-to area of effect ability called Spread Shot. That anybody who's actually played Final Fantasy XIV knows well enough because of its distinctive sound. hard to miss. 
Now, in the trailer for the job changes, uh, they ran down all the classes' abilities for every class, and in the Nationalist section, they showed all the abilities. The spread shot was missing, and it was replaced, though. It was replaced by a shotgun. I was really happy to see that, and it would have been enough just to let me be a little bit excited uh, going forward, uh, but then this happened. Um, so the first one, uh, a new mechanically themed action called Chainsaw will be added. And once again with my literal reaction. Um, so the first one, uh, a new mechanically themed action called Chainsaw will be added. I mean, sadly, Nationalist is a ranged class in Final Fantasy XIV, so the Chainsaw is probably not going to be, you know... As a matter of fact, I think it's going to be this animation from the trailer where it, it looks like he's shooting... It's a ranged attack, it looks like he's shooting saw blades out at the enemy. Uh, which, it, it's fine, I'm okay with that, I accept it. Because the class is cool regardless. And it's still called a chainsaw. That being said, you know, I would still prefer this. But it is what it is. And, and now for the first time in a game that I can remember, I have a class that has a shotgun, a flamethrower, and a chainsaw. It's literally the perfect class for me, finally. There is an MMO that has a perfect class for me, and I can't believe it exists. That's why I'm really excited again for Inwalker, for no other reason than those few little changes. I mean, for all, for all the intents and purposes, Spread Shot and the Shotgun Blast, whatever it's going to be called, are the exact same ability. It probably just does a little more damage. But it's the theme that makes it important for me. I don't even know why I made this video. I just made a video, I guess, so I, I could have something to put out today, and, and I want to announce that I finally have a chainsaw, a flamethrower, and a shotgun all at once. Which makes me a happy clown.